Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I clean my jewelry. We are going to be cleaning some silver, some gold, some sapphires, some rubies, and most importantly, our diamonds. At the end of this video, I am going to be sharing with you a tip that I got from a jeweler on how to make your wedding ring look brand new, as sparkly as it was the day it was bought in the store. So if you want to find out how, keep on watching. First, let's go over the supplies that we will need. It's not a lot. So the first supply is a polishing cloth. You can get these on Amazon, really inexpensive. Ideally, you'll want to find one that is double layered. So this is a more heavy duty cloth. And then this one here is a lot more gentle. Next, you'll want to find a fine jewelry cleaner. There are two brands I recommend. Connoisseurs is very good. You can find this at Target or Amazon or the Diamonds Direct brand. You can get that on their website. I'll make sure I link all this in the description. That's a good cleaner as well. Some cleaners come already mixed together so you get it as a liquid, whereas this one we actually need to add some water to, but that's no big deal. I'll show you how easy that is here in a second. You'll also want to make sure you have a sink nearby so you can rinse the jewelry and then have a couple of paper towels handy to dab the jewelry dry. This last ingredient might surprise you. This is what we are going to use to make our wedding rings and engagement rings sparkle like they did when they were brand new in the store, just as shiny as the day you said yes. We are going to need 70% alcohol, just this rubbing alcohol that you can find at almost any store. And that's it. Those are the only supplies that you will need. You don't need any kind of fancy ultrasonic machine or really any skills cleaning jewelry. It's very easy. This is something anyone can do from home. So these are the four pieces of jewelry that I'm going to be cleaning today. I have this sterling silver and citrine ring. This is going to be the easiest. And then I have my wedding ring. You can tell it's not really, they don't look like they're dirty, but they've kind of lost their luster. They're not as shiny or vibrant anymore. And we want them to look brand new again. So that way they are eye catching, especially in the light. I then have my pink sapphire and diamond cocktail ring. And then I have my ruby panther necklace. So I'm going to show you how I clean each of them. The process is a little different for all of them. And yeah, they'll look brand new. So the first piece of jewelry we are going to do is this sterling silver ring. You can tell just by looking at it, it's, it doesn't look like it's too dirty or anything, but you will be surprised at how much dirt we get off just with a polishing cloth. So for sterling silver, I usually only use a polishing cloth. I don't go in after with any kind of um, cleaner. The polishing cloth is all it really needs. And then same thing for this citrine stone here. I'll just kind of lightly rub it with the cloth. So let me go ahead and show you. We are going to start with the more heavy duty side of the cloth. And we are just going to lightly rub the silver and you can see already here this was completely clean when we started so again i'll show you this is totally clean this didn't look too dirty in the first place but when we start to just gently rub look at all of that that comes off so if you wanted to, if you have a ring kind of like this where there's some divots in there because of the design, you can really get into all of those nooks and crannies and get all of the patina off of the silver. I kind of like the way it looks when parts of it are dark, like when the indentions are darker and then the rest of it is really shiny. Um, however, you can go ahead and use your fingernail and really get into all of the grooves. You could even use a needle um, like a dull needle and put it in the cloth and really get in there. I have seen sterling silver polished so well that it could easily be mistaken as white gold. I'm not kidding. It was so shiny. So we are just going to continue. You can see all this dirt here, all this patina coming off of the silver. Um, we are going to continue to clean this until we are satisfied with how shiny it is. And then I will lightly kind of just rub the stone just to get it that shine back. 
Okay, so you can see all this right here is from this ring that didn't really look like it needed to be polished in the first place, but actually it's getting a lot shinier. So once we are happy with how it is looking, I'll show you up close in a moment, but we are then going to take the softer part of the cloth and just give it one last polish. And there you can see a huge difference from where we started. It's very shiny. The gemstone has that sparkle back. The silver is really nice and shiny and bright. And that only took, what, like maybe five minutes total to get this ring polished. So it's something super easy you can do just in bed before you go to sleep or just any time you feel like your ring is looking a little dull, it is such a quick thing to just take out a polishing cloth and polish the ring. I'll show you really close up too with the ring on. So shiny, so much better. So next up I have my cocktail ring. This is pink sapphire and diamonds. It's white gold and a little bit of rose gold. So I cleaned it a few months ago and I've only worn it once since, so it's really not too dirty, but I do want to get that sparkle back so I can wear it again soon. So I'll show you how we clean this one. So we're actually going to use the polishing cloth and the jewelry cleaner. So the first step is to polish it just to get any dirt or grime off. So same process for the last ring. We're going to start with this side. You can see right there, it's already made a mark. I'll go somewhere clean so you can see. Seemingly clean jewelry can often be dirtier than we think. So see. So we're just going to polish it real quick. Maybe only spend like a minute doing this because we are going to put it in a cleaning solution that's going to clean it further for us. Okay, so this is what the cleaner looks like. This video is not sponsored, by the way. I just really like this stuff. <laughs> um, so, okay, so it comes with the concentrated jewelry cleaning drops and then a brush and then this little basket here. So I'm gonna show you what we do to make this. It's very easy. So we are going to do 10 drops of solution. And then it says seven ounces. I never actually measure the ounces. I just fill it up to about there. Right there, a little more than halfway, about three quarters of the way. And then we have this basket. So what we'll do is we will take the jewelry, put it in the basket, and then we will lower it into the solution just like this. And we're going to let it sit for one to two minutes and then we are going to brush the ring. This basket is really nifty because when it's time to rinse the jewelry, um, you can just rinse it in the basket like this so that way you don't accidentally drop your jewelry down the sink. So while this is soaking, I just wanted to point out that this cleaner is good for most jewelry. It's not good for everything though. So this is good for gold, it's good for diamonds, it's good for platinum, pearls, um, any kind of precious stone, so rubies, sapphires, you know, diamonds, those are all fine. But like I wouldn't use this on any kind of fake stone um, or any kind of sterling silver. And what I mean by fake stone, I don't mean like the lab created rubies and diamonds, those are fine. But the like cubic zirconia or um, like Swarovski crystals, I would not put in here. Okay, it's been about two minutes. The ring has been soaking in the solution. So now I'm going to take this brush and just gently brush at it just to get rid of any dirt that might be stuck in between the stones. Okay, once it's all good and brushed, I like to put it in for another 20 seconds or so. And then we are going to take it back out and rinse it under some running water in the sink. Just be careful the water pressure isn't too high. You want it to be nice and delicate. And you can just leave it in the basket like this while it's rinsing. Okay, so I have rinsed the ring under water. So now I'm just kind of 
patting it dry on the paper towel. And I kind of let it air dry for a minute or two as well. I tried to get as much of the water off of it as possible with the paper towel. Oh my gosh, gorgeous. Do you see this sparkle that we definitely did not have before? This is not even a very bright room, um, but it's certainly catching the light. So beautiful and shiny and sparkly. Next, we're going to clean my Ruby Panther necklace. So this is rose gold, and these are 42 Earthmind rubies and Tazerite eyes. And then the back just looks like this. This is by a jeweler called Effie. I love his jewelry. I have a few pieces from him. But yeah, he's just not as bright anymore, so we are going to clean him up. So same process as before, we're going to polish with the cloth first before we put it in the solution. I'm just using the same solution. You don't have to change it out every time. Um, and what I'm going to do different though is because we have a chain, there's a certain way I like to clean the chain on the cloth. So I will show you that. We are going to take the cloth you can see how I've used it before. I clean my jewelry all the time and it's so filthy in there, but I'm using the clean side. Okay, so you want to take it in between two fingers like this. And what we're going to do, and you can see it's completely clean. What we're going to do is put the chain in there like this and just gently and slowly pull the chain through and look at all of that this doesn't even look dirty but all of that came off so now we're going to do the same thing to the other side of the chain and i'll just keep doing that until i am satisfied with the way it looks and the amount of dirt that comes off is significantly less all right, I got the chain to where I want it. So now I'm going to clean the panther. A lot of times our jewelry gets dirty just from normal wear because we might have makeup on our skin. We might have lotion on our skin. Also just the natural oils from our body that gets on our skin or especially rings. You know, we're handling things with our hands all the time. And even though you shower with your rings on and so they're constantly getting washed from the shampoo or the face wash, they still just really hold on to dirt. So it's important, you know, every couple months, just take some time to get your jewelry nice and clean so it stays shiny and bright. All right, so in the basket it goes, and I'm going to leave it in there for one to two minutes. Okay, so now we're going to give it a good scrub with the brush especially this one, when you have a lot of little stones all close together, dirt really gets stuck in between there. And then this little guy, he has teeth. Let me show you. Oh, it's not going to focus. Oh, there we go. He has teeth, so dirt gets stuck in there too. And then back in for another 20 seconds. Okay, we have rinsed this necklace so we're just patting it dry and then i'll show you up close how he's looking now oh so much better the gold is so much shinier the jewels are catching the light better they don't have that like kind of almost like foggy film anymore just from being dirty that gold is like a mirror it is so shiny and those rubies look amazing. So the setting is actually like this dark gray metal. So it looks a little darker. And then Earthmind rubies are actually not perfectly see-through like the um, like the lab created ones where they're just like these bright red rubies that are totally see-through. These are what natural rubies look like. So, oh my goodness, perfect. All right, so now let's get to the really good part, how to make your wedding ring shine and sparkle 
like the first day it was seen in a store. Oh my goodness. Now, one thing to know is that at these really nice jewelry stores, the diamonds are usually in cases with very bright lights on them, which make them look very, very shiny and spectacular. Now, we obviously don't have those bright lights in our home typically, but this cleaning method will leave it as sparkly as it can possibly be. So let's get started. So I'm going to do my wedding band and my engagement ring here. I'm going to mostly focus on this one because that's where the big diamond is. But you can see it doesn't look too dirty, but it definitely has lost its luster. It doesn't really sparkle in the light the way I want it to. So it's looking a little dull. We're going to fix that right now. Okay, so same first step. We're starting with the polishing cloth. So I'm going to take a clean section here just to show you. You always think your jewelry is clean, and then after just a few minutes of polishing, you realize it wasn't that clean. It wasn't as clean as we thought. So already. All right, now we're going to go in with the softer side, and I'm going to do the same thing for my wedding band. I've used the polishing cloth. I've got them to where I am happy with them. So I am now going to put both of the rings in the basket and let it sit for one to two minutes. It's almost time to take the rings out, but I just wanted to show you, we've only cleaned four pieces of jewelry, five, I guess, if you want to get technical because both um, rings in my wedding set here, but the cleaner is already getting cloudy. Isn't that crazy? Okay, I just took these out of the cleaner and I just realized I actually didn't even brush them with this little brush. I totally forgot, but it's okay. Um, it wasn't really too dirty to begin with. It was just mostly looking dull. So I'm just patting them dry and now it's time for the most important step if you want your rings to look brand new. If you want your wedding ring or your engagement ring to spark sparkle like it is the first day it's been out in the world this is the step so i just have a little shot glass here we are going to take this 70 percent alcohol and i don't know just fill it to like halfway this tip is a tip that i got from a jeweler friend and it has been life-changing i do not pay to get my jewelry professionally cleaned anymore so we are going to take the rings and just put them in this alcohol to soak. And we're going to leave them in there soaking for only 30 seconds. Then we're going to take the rings back out, rinse them in the sink one more time, pat them dry, and you will not believe how sparkly they are. Okay, I have taken them out of the alcohol. I rinsed them under the sink. I'm just going to pat them dry. And then I will show you how incredibly shiny and sparkly and clean they are oh my goodness is that not the sparkliest cleanest diamond ring you've ever seen all done at home no fancy ultrasonic machines just using some really simple inexpensive materials and it looks brand new i'll show you what it looks like with the wedding band as well um, on my finger. Ta-da! Oh my goodness. That is so eye-catching. Like if you were to go anywhere after using this method and anywhere with just light at all, everybody would notice your ring because the light is going to catch it and it is going to glisten just like this. And I am in a very dull room. This is actually a pretty dark room in my house. So I mean, I have a light near me, but I'll have to show you in like a really bright room. Okay, this room is a little brighter, but look. Oh my goodness. Here's my panther again. Oh my gosh, but look at my wedding ring. Doesn't it look like a mirror? Okay, back to the panther. So pretty. This was actually my first fine piece of jewelry that I bought for myself. I cannot stop staring. I'm obsessed. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you the confidence to try to clean your own jewelry at home. It's very easy to do, and it makes your pieces of jewelry look absolutely fabulous. 
please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It means the absolute world to me. Thank you so much for your support, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.